my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, today I am going to do a tag and I was tagged by Solstice Beauty by Jessica. And this was kind of a tag just created by her and her family. Uh, so it's just a lot of good fun and I'm super excited to answer all these questions. Okay, the first question is what is my name, where do I live, and what is my age? So my name is Ashley Nicole Rice. That is my legal name. I also go by Ashley Nicole Stevens for theater and music. So you might see either of those names depending on what context you're talking to me in. I live in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, which is awesome. It's a great place to be a vegan. Honestly, there's like so many things that I can eat in the Twin Cities and I absolutely love it. And yes, uh, since I am from Minnesota, I do say big. Uh, that's not an exaggeration. That's literally how I say it and I am 25 years old. Number two, do you have kids, names, married, name? I do not have children yet. I have two little kitties, Tibbled and Mercutio. They're kind of like our little babies, and I am married. In fact, our second anniversary is gonna be coming up shortly, which is exciting, um, and I'm married to Lowell. He's on my channel quite frequently just because he's the easiest person to grab to be like, hey, I want another person for this video. Three, when did you first try makeup? What product was it? Uh, I think I first tried makeup in junior high. I've never really been like a major makeup person, but the first, this is in the 2000s, early 2000s, uh, and it was black eyeliner. I don't remember brand or anything. I probably got it from, you know, like the dollar store or something, somewhere cheap, Target, Walmart, most likely Walmart because I lived by Walmart. And it was like in the days where you wore like really heavy eyeliner. So that's, that was me. I was the heavy eyeliner girl. Number four, what is my favorite movie? Um, I think my favorite movie of all time is actually Interstellar. I love that movie so, so, so much. It is amazing. I have never left a movie theater with so many emotions and Matthew McConaughey did an amazing job. Like he made noises I didn't know a grown man could and it was just so emotional and I love Anne Hathaway. Like I just thought they did a really, really good job on the movie. Are there parts where I think like they were just trying to come up with a solution really quick and it was kind of like convoluted and confusing. Yeah, but overall, I really, really love the movie. I am a sucker for like father-daughter relationships, but like I just, I absolutely loved that movie. Number five, favorite singer. Um, I'm gonna go with, oh, that's hard. Guys, I love music so much. I'm gonna go with Shakira. <laughs> She's kind of like not really a guilty pleasure because like I I like talk about her enough whenever I like mention my favorite artist She's usually my go-to, but I just I love Shakira. I love her music. I love how lively it is uh, I love her voice a lot of people make fun of her voice, but I think it's so unique and I just like I love it I love her music but you guys, I listen to like anything, anything from like, I listen to country, hip hop, rock, alternative. I love me some Green Day, rap. Like I listen to all types of music, but I think Shakira, like whenever I'm at home cleaning or just like running chores or like getting ready for videos or like just trying to like have a good old time whenever I'm not like reading or something, then I, I put on the Shakira station on my Pandora. So I know I really, really like her music. Number six. Who were your inspirational beauty icons when you were younger? I didn't really have any inspirational beauty icons when I was younger. Uh, I grew up in a very, not extremely small town, but I consider it a small town and I think the population sign is lying because I don't know where all those people are. Really you guys, I didn't get into makeup until I started doing theater. And even then I don't wear makeup a lot in every you know day to day life. I just don't wear makeup a lot. Um, so. And I, like I'm not really into like all the extreme fashions. Like I'm more of a like a casual kind of person. And so I love makeup and I love, uh, I love like clothing and like being fashionable. I think that has its place, but like every day I, I wear more normal slash like no makeup at all. But like for my channel, I wear makeup because I want my eyes to pop and I want my lips to pop. Um, cause I am a theater person. I understand film and I understand how your face on camera works. Uh, so I do wear makeup for that reason and sometimes I'll just put on makeup for fun I think it's like a fun little tool that you can use but I usually don't wear it a ton So I don't think I really had any growing up uh, Yeah, I didn't really pay much attention to looks or clothing when I was growing up just because that wasn't something I needed to worry about in a small town number seven What do you love about makeup the most? I love that you can create a um like an, a work of art i think that's what i love about watching uh makeup channels and beauty channels is i love being able to see how people can use makeup to create like a piece of art because here's the thing i think people without makeup 
absolutely beautiful I don't think you need to hide behind makeup but I do think it's like an amazing tool to show off some art and like just to make yourself feel a little bit better one day because we all have days where we're insecure and like sometimes it's nice to just feel like really really pretty and like makeup does have that effect on you like I'm not gonna lie but I also think at the end of the day we need to be able to look at ourselves in the mirror without any makeup on and love who we are so I think makeup should be viewed as has like a piece of art that you can create this like awesome look for that's really cool so long as like at the end of the day you know who you are you're comfortable in your own skin without any makeup on i think that's really 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 important number eight dream job my dream job would actually be uh to be an actor <laughs> uh as crazy as that is and as hard as it is to get into the industry uh that's really what i'm kind of going for but i also would love to be like a full-time youtuber blogger like i just want something creative because that's who i am i'm a very creative person um, and I'm sad because you guys don't get to see like kind of my goofy wacky side a lot on this channel because guys I can be really strange <laughs> Like whenever I hang out with my friends like I can't tell you all the voices that I do or how weird I am Like I'm really weird you guys so I'm really sad I can't show that side of me because I I, I like that part of myself But like also like I'm not just gonna force it like if it happens it happens and I don't like forcing things like I just like to Be who I am in that moment but so I would just love to have something that's artsy, whether that's working at a theater or being a theater artist, being in a band that produces enough money so I can live off of that. Uh, or, you know, full-time YouTube, full-time blog, photographer, videographer would be really, really fun for like, I think if I was going to do videography, I'd want to do kind of like Buzzfeed. I really like Buzzfeed videos. Or I would love to do uh, promo videos for theater companies in the Twin Cities. I think that'd be really, really fun. I used to do that in college and I just really enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but it's hard to do now because all I have is iMovie and like Final Cut Pro is way better. <laughs> but it's expensive. So, I mean, I'm very open, but I definitely want it to be something artsy. Number nine, what was a trend you followed when you were younger? <laughs> Uh, I actually really got into the goth phase like I if I can find a picture I'll put it up right now but I don't know if those pictures made it because that was like early high school Ashley but like I wore the chain pants I wore all black I had the heavy eyeliner I used to um walk around school like this in fact that's how people knew me they would uh make fun of me by going hi my name's Ashley <laughs> That was like a very common joke that my friends would say in high school. Number 10, what is your most embarrassing moment? You guys, I have been through so many that I just don't really get embarrassed that easily. So I honestly can't think of anything super crazy. I mean, probably the most embarrassing moment at the time, and I'm really not embarrassed by now. It's kind of like a funny story that I can tell is in kindergarten, I think it was like one of it was like the first week of school and i just didn't like understand how school worked fully i guess that you could like raise your hand and say hey can i go to the bathroom you know where this is going i really had to go pee and i didn't know that i could do it i thought we had to wait for the bathroom breaks because they were always scheduled at certain times and there was one coming in about 30 minutes and i thought i could hold it you guys little five-year-old ashley could not hold it and so i ended up peeing my pants in kindergarten and the teacher came up to me because she noticed, obviously. And she's like, Ashley, did you have to go to the bathroom? I was like, yeah, but I thought we had to wait for a potty break. And like, she's like, no, please let me know if you have to go to the bathroom. Like, we'll have a buddy and you guys can go to the bathroom. And so my mom had to, or was it my mom or dad? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> this is kindergarten. Uh, one of my parentals came and dropped off some, some change of clothes so that I could change. So that was probably the most embarrassing in the moment just because I'm like a little kindergarten five-year-old Ashley. Uh, but I, I don't get embarrassed very often. Thank you, mom. She, you know, really helped me not get embarrassed very easily because she's a weirdo also. But I think also like being an actor, it's just hard to get embarrassed because you're always putting yourself out there and you're always being raw and you're always being vulnerable. So I just don't get embarrassed extremely often. Do I get shy or nervous? Yeah, but I don't think, I don't really get embarrassed very often. Number 11. What is the last food drink you had? Oh, the last drink I had, and I'm still drinking it actually, is this Guru. I actually found it, guys. This is an energy drink that I've reviewed on my channel before. It was a different flavor. Uh, but I found them at Fresh Time. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, I found this at Fresh Time because we recently went shopping there and we're thinking we're gonna shop there from now on. But it's um, energy water, and it is lime organic sparkling. I like it. Um, I wish the lime was stronger. It feels more just like copper carbonated water in my opinion, and I wish it was a stronger lime, but it's not bad. And the last thing I ate was a veggie burger. I don't remember what company it was by, but I had a veggie burger. I put on, 
I think it was Go Veggie Cheese, the vegan kind. And then I had bread and mustard and ketchup. And that was kind of it. It was one of, it was, it was a veggie burger that had some beans and corn in it. I remember that. 12. What sports did you play when you were younger? When I was really young, I played volleyball. I actually really like it. I get super competitive, though I'm not as good at diving for the ball now, mostly because I think I injured myself a lot when I was growing up, so my knees just can't handle a ton. But I really liked volleyball. I thought it was super fun. Uh, I, the only reason I ever quit is because when you <laughs> went to high school, in order to stay on the volleyball team, you had to run a mile like every single day. And guys, I'm not a runner. So as soon as I found out I'd have to run a mile every single day, at rehearsal, I was like, I can't do this. Nope, I'm quitting. So that was the end of volleyball for me. I also really liked tennis, but I was never on a team. I mostly just had a tennis ball and a tennis racket and hit it against the garage growing up as a kid. Number 13. How many times did you fall in love? I think I only fell in love twice. Obviously with Lowell, we're married now. Uh, before that, I'm gonna not say his name, but there was this guy who we were high school sweethearts and we, dated for like two years really like he didn't fully ask me out until I think a year into that time um and that's because his parents were a little strict but they like loved me it's just you know they set these rules when he was a kid and so they kept him so he couldn't date till he was 18. but we thought we were gonna get married and luckily we didn't like the relationship was not the healthiest relationship ever it wasn't terrible like we were both really kind people but uh we just weren't meant for each other and he's married now and she's a sweetheart so things are great number 14 where have you gone on vacation to oh that's a good question uh my family never did family vacations growing up so nothing there uh one time for girl scouts i went to costa rica that was a sort of a vacation but we went on a girl scout trip to costa rica which was really really fun we were planting trees down there but we also got to have like a huge amount of fun so sort of a vacation and then another time through girl scouts we went over to europe we went to germany france and switzerland again basically a vacation but uh we went over there to go to our chalet which is a girl scout location and and then we just traveled around as well i studied abroad in australia for four months but it was really a study abroad but also kind of like a mini vacation in some ways choir in college we traveled to germany and poland we were gonna go to prague but i think they were flooding at that time they were flooded at that time uh, basically a vacation but we were also like rehearsing every single day and performing every single day so like semi vacation mostly vacation but also like we had to do stuff while we were there i visited my dad in florida when he lived there for a little bit uh basically a vacation but also like to introduce Lowell to my dad before we got married for choir we also went to tennessee we also went to california and where else did we go tennessee california chicago i recently went to new york for a friend's wedding it was really like a one-day vacation just because we uh we're saving for a house and so we just couldn't spend money. For our honeymoon, we went on a cruise up to Alas Alaska, which was amazing, loved it. Well, this was a vacation. Me and a group of friends went to my friend's hometown in Iowa. Uh, it's where the Tulip Festival is and I don't know why I'm spacing out on the name of the town, but they had a really good bakery there. I don't know if anything's vegan because I haven't been there since going vegan. I can't remember the name of the bakery or the town all of a sudden, but it's where the Tulip Festival is. For mine and Lowell's one year anniversary, we went down to Missouri, Columbia, Missouri, to watch the uh, eclipse, which you guys was amazing. Maybe I should talk about that sometime because it was absolutely stunning. Probably the most beautiful moment I can remember off the top of my head was the eclipse. But so that was a vacation. We actually did that. I love traveling, you guys. I think it's so much fun. Oh, uh, pff, doi. I'm smart. This was a vacation and my parent-in-laws actually took us on this trip. They paid for the tickets and everything. We just basically had to pay for food and fun activities and gifts that we wanted to buy. Uh, but we went on a cruise. Well, first we went to New Orleans, spent like a week there over New Year's. And then we went on a cruise and we hit up Mexico, Belize, and one other location. If I see the name or if I hear it, I know which towns it was. But we went to two stops in Mexico and we went to Belize in one other spot and I can't remember. Okay, moving on, because that took way too long to answer. Number 15, who is the last person you texted and what was it about? Oh, that's a good question, let me look. Oh, the last person I texted was one of my friends, Kamal. She texted me because she's sending me tickets to go see her show this summer. And that's because I made a video for the show, a little promo. And so she's just sending me some thank you ones. But we've been in a show together. She's really, really sweet. I love her. Okay, number 16. If you could have plastic surgery, would you what? 
I would not have plastic surgery. Um, I am a big person in accepting who you are and being proud of your body as it is and loving yourself no matter what size, shape you are. Like, I think that's really important. So I honestly would not get plastic surgery. And I bet some people are like, yeah, right. Like you'd probably get plastic surgery if someone paid for it. I honestly wouldn't. I would not feel comfortable with that. I would feel like somehow I was turning on like my own thoughts and my own beliefs because I've, I've never ever wanted plastic surgery I've always like you know people who get it like that's your decision that's your choice like do what you want you know uh but I could never personally do it I just I would feel like I was betraying myself in a way <laughs> so I don't think I could ever do it okay number 17 what is the last song you listened to oh I don't know probably something on my Shakira Pandora station because that's what I listened to or uh I also watched some dance but I think this was it I was watching some dance videos on YouTube earlier but I don't remember what song I feel like it was Lana Del Rey song was the last one I listened to yes it was a Lana Del Rey song I'd never heard it before and I don't know what it's called number 18 are you afraid of bugs what kind um I'm not a fan of bugs but I don't know I mean here's the thing if they land on me randomly just suddenly then yes I'm freaked out by any bug but otherwise I'm not like too nervous about them uh I'm not a big fan of spiders even though I know they're really good for us <laughs> but I think it's just you know you're told not to be a big fan of spiders and you just you that's ingrained you know okay we're almost done you guys number 19 what's your nationality <laughs> um a lot of people think that I have uh, that I'm mixed race. I'm not. A lot of people think I'm from somewhere in Asia. I'm not. Uh, I have a long ancestry in America and then I also have a lot of Norwegian, a lot of Irish. I have some German, some French, a little bit of Native American, like a tiny amount. My great 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 grandmother was Native American. And we know her Christianized name and I think my grandmother knows her tribe now but I'd have to ask. It starts with an S and it's not Sue but her Christianized name was Nancy Appleman. But we have like a picture of her and everything and it's like it's really cool but those are kind of like the strong things that i know me and lol we want to do in dna kind of thing one year for christmas so we might do that this year and i'm definitely going to share those results with you because i'm also curious but i have a lot of people who think i'm in some way asian i'm not even people who are first generation second generation or third generation uh of somewhere in asia they think i'm mixed in some way that somehow i have some part of asia in me and i just to my knowledge, I have none. Number 20, if you could go on a road trip with any celebrity, who would it be and why? Ooh, I don't know. All of them. <laughs> uh, David Tennant. Oh, David Tennant, yes. You guys, totally David Tennant. He's my favorite actor of all time. I am obsessed with him. I He became my favorite actor the moment that I actually saw him in the fourth Harry Potter movie, which for some reason escapes my brain right now, The Goblet of Fire. Yeah, he was in that Harry Potter movie. And from then on, I was just obsessed with him because I was like, he's such an amazing actor to like, be able to create this like such creepy character by like literally just doing that tongue thing the little thing like he was just so intriguing as a character and, and like I was instantly drawn to him I just thought he was amazing and then I saw him in Doctor Who and the moment he cried over another grown man I was like this man is so good he's such a good actor and I've seen him in Shakespeare videos there's one where he's like about to marry a woman and then falls in love with this other girl who like just ended her uh, engagement and that one's pretty good I just I love David Tennant I would love to pick his brain I would love to know more about him as an actor and how he portrays characters and just like I love David Tennant he's so cool okay you guys that is all of the questions sorry this video was so long and that I just talked so much thank you so much Jessica for taking me to do this I hope I did a great job for you here's the thing if anyone really wants to do this feel free let me know in the comments below I'll shoot you over the questions that Jessica sent me so that you can answer these as well this is just kind of like a fun little tag Jessica kind of created this with her family just to do like something fun on YouTube so you can get to know people better so feel free if you want to do this tag let me know in the comments below and then I'll send the questions over to you somehow I'm not a huge fan of tagging specific people mostly because I'm very much an includer and I feel like I'm excluding people if I only select a few people to do it so this is open up to everyone and I don't think I said this earlier which like actually get better at life. <laughs>
But Jessica also has a YouTube channel. Obviously, that's where I saw the tag and you should totally go check it out. I'm gonna leave a link to her channel down below. She is so sweet and I just love her videos and she's like such a kind and loving person. So you should definitely go check her out. I hope you guys liked getting to know me a little bit more. If you have any further questions, feel free to put them down below. Maybe I'll do a Q&A if I get enough. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Other than that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.